our scenery, our landscape, they're absolutely paramount to the experience of the visitor. That's why people come to Scotland, whether it be domestic or overseas visitors. Tourism revenue is worth something in the region of 4.2 billion to Scotland, which is more than our oil, whisky and fishing industries combined. It's quite an amazing figure. And what we also have to consider is lots of that money spent in rural areas where the, the community, they, they don't have a lot of other income. Tourism is vital. The guests will go down, boost the local economy, eat in the restaurants, um, buy all their food, um, hire bicycles, um, you know, there's just a whole spin-off just within the community that otherwise there, there would not be. Um, and of course, it means that we can carry on expanding our business, um, that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to have done it. The, the quality of the natural environment in terms of, of where we work and, and, and um, our decisions around what, what experiences we offer, um, we focus on the Highlands and Islands of Scotland. Um, the, the landscapes there are truly unique in my view. I'm, I've been fortunate to travel a lot around the world and I always come back to, to the Highlands and think you know, we're, 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 we have such an amazing resource. And for us, I think that compares with anything that you find in Europe or in many places around the world. The heritage that we have is unique to Scotland and I think visitors love it, both domestic and, and overseas. I think there's a growing interest in wildlife and nature based because people are just looking for something different, they're looking for a new experience, they're looking for something that they can perhaps build on for another year, something that appeals to the whole family. I think there's an increase in uh, interest in wildlife tourism and nature based activities because more and more people are starting to realise the physiological and psychological benefits of being in, 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 in contact with nature and that's been fostered by a lot of TV programmes such as Spring Watch and you know, there are many moments that you can experience uh, in the outdoors and, and in nature that will, are very uplifting and inspiring and I think more and more people are wanting that kind of experience. I think the tourism industry would be very badly affected if, if our countryside is badly managed simply because the majority of people do come because of our landscape and because of our scenery. So if we fail to maintain that and if we fail to manage it, they're not going to enjoy their visit and they're not going to return.